Let's hit only mode. Hey, thank you guys, and welcome back to our weekly webinar, weekly live webinar. Every Tuesday, we're here uh, to bring you guys new content, new information from our carriers. Um, luckily, today, we have Mr. Darren on with us uh, with American Amicable. Um, some of you guys have previously talked about American Amicable, some of the products that they offer. Um, of course, Darren has been on with us a couple times now, um, so we know the product is very, very good. Um, it's proven. It's got, you got everything you need from zero to eighty-five with these two products, as well as a term product as well. So again, we've got Mr. Darren here. Unfortunately, we had some, uh, some challenges with our microphones, so we're in by we're calling in by phone. So if it doesn't sound as good, uh, we'll leave that up to the digital ladies to fix it, right? Um, but other than that, we'll jump right into it. I thank you guys for attending. If you have any questions, throw them into the chat box. We'll get those answers. Uh, so without further ado, I'll let Mr. Darren take it over. And uh, share your screen. All right. Well, thank you so much. Uh, Where we got options there? Got. Absolutely. Absolutely. I always, I certainly always appreciate the opportunity to. Uh, uh, we got a couple different products we're going to talk about today. I certainly got to focus on the final expense uh, for first and foremost. Um, as we get going, though, a little bit about who we are uh, at American Amicable. Uh, for those who may not be familiar with us, uh, we're a 100 plus year old company uh, founded in 19, 1910. Uh, we were originally founded and still are a home office in, in Waco, Texas. We're a, uh, a rated with AM Best. And we've been in final expense business for uh, 20 plus years now. Uh, and I mention that because uh, in this market, uh, it's such a great market. There's a lot of companies that are trying to get into this market. Uh, and sometimes uh, they, for whatever reason, decide that they need to, uh, to make an exit from that market. But uh, good news is with American Apple, uh, it's, it's the you know, steady turtle, if you will, uh, that uh, that continues on and on, um, doing what, uh, doing things well in the final expense market, and uh, it's something that we just love doing here at American Apple. Uh, the Senior Choice product is is the primary product that we'll be discussing today. And that is for clients who are ages 50 and up, up to a maximum of age 85. We'll talk about the three different plans that we have to offer uh, that they can qualify for based on their health. And we'll go to those in greater detail in a moment, uh, along with just mentioning some of the riders that we have available, including the grandchild rider uh, that really help not only make additional sales for you, but helps keep policies on the books for you, which is also very important. A very busy slide, I understand, but this kind of gives you the basics of the uh, the product specs, if you will. Um, we have the three different plans. Again, this is all determined based upon their health, uh, which of the three different options they can qualify for. Uh, our terminology, we use the word immediate for the day one or uh, full death benefit coverage, depending on how uh, other companies mention that. So this is the death benefit that pays out the full amount regardless of when the insured passes away. We go up to age, uh, at age 75, we go up to a max of 50K of coverage, and above 75, we max out at 25K. Again, those are the healthiest of indi individuals in the senior market, uh, and we issue about 75% of our policies in that immediate category, just FYI. Uh, then if they can't qualify for it, they may qualify for the graded plan, and the way this plan works is if they die uh, during the first policy year, the beneficiary is going to receive 30% of whatever the death benefit is. So our $10,000 policy would pay out 3 k if death occurs in year one. If death occurs in the second year, that becomes 70%. After we get outside the two-year period, starting in year three, it becomes a 100% payout. Lastly, if they can't qualify for either of those two plans, they may be eligible for our return of premium plan. And as you can see there, it's either going to be a two or a three year period uh, during which what we will pay to the beneficiary are the premiums that have been collected plus 10% interest. It's a three year window for clients ages 50 to 64 when the policy is issued. And for clients 65 and up, it's a two year window. 
And that represents about 20% uh, of the policies that we issued in final expense. So that kind of gives you a general breakdown uh, of what you can expect to see if you write 10 policies with us and what categories they would fall in. I mentioned the grandchild rider earlier. Um, always a great talking point because, you know, in this market, there's not much more, more, you know, more, more important to them than their grandkids. So to be able to do something to benefit those grandkids, they're always interested in hearing more about that. So uh, at its core, it's coverage that provides uh, either five thousand or ten thousand dollars of term insurance in the unfortunate event of a grandkid's passing. Uh, certainly, we don't like to think about that. Uh, very terrible thing when someone that young passes away, uh, but. It does happen from time to time, and when that does, those funerals can be very expensive, you know, just as expensive as adult funerals. And then the burden falls to, on the family, uh, including the grandparents, potentially to pay for that funeral. So this is a nice way of helping to cover in that unfortunate event, those funeral costs. But I like to think of some of the other benefits the rider offers, including the conversion privilege, because now you're making sure that those kids are able to get their own policy without any underwriting. Uh, so if they develop some type of uninsurable condition at an early age, uh, that would not prevent them from being able to convert uh, to a permanent plan of insurance with us. If they have the $5,000 worth of term, they can convert up to a $25,000 policy with us. If they have the $10,000 policy, they can get up to a $50,000 policy. So again, there's no underwriting for that. It's a simple conversion, and they can do that anytime up until they reach age 20. Uh, there's also a paid up provision that if that, you know, the, the cost of the rider would be paid up in the event of the primary insured. So if the senior happens to pass away, the term insurance becomes paid up through their age 20, and they can still take advantage of that conversion program privilege that I mentioned a moment ago. So again, you may not be able to pass along a great financial legacy uh, to your grandkids, but it's nice to know that you are benefiting them through this insurance, you know, down the road. So it, it's a nice peace of mind that we're selling. And again, it helps generate interest to maybe make the buying the decision for that senior that they weren't necessarily willing to do before. And it also helps keep policies on the books because Having this benefit, it's not just their coverage that someone has to come behind you and try to replace, but it's the coverage on those grandkids. So it just makes the policy stick a lot more, which obviously keeps commission dollars flowing into your pocket. So I always encourage mentioning this rider in any presentation to a client. We do have a couple of other optional riders, just real quickly, uh, nursing home waiver premium. If they are confined to a nursing home, this rider will have us pay the premium payments for them, kind of similar to a disability waiver premium, except this one kicks in if they're confined to a nursing home. And then we have a standard accidental death, which as the name implies, gives them additional death benefit if they have to die as a result of an accident. Those riders are, are optional for riders and for an additional cost. We have two no cost riders that are thrown in. First being the terminal illness rider. If they're diagnosed with a life expectancy of 12 months or less, they can receive up to 100% of their death benefit. Uh, basically, every final expense company has a rider of this nature. Uh, what can differ between companies is that percentage. Uh, so again, we allow them to get 100% of that paid uh, if that's their life expectancy. And that's money to spend in any way that they wish, whether it be um, making final arrangements, experimental drug uh, costs, stuff like that. Again, that's all, that's their money to spend any way that they would like. Then we have a confined care rider. This one is similar to the nursing home waiver premium benefit, but if they're confined to that nursing home, this rider will pay them a monthly benefit up to 5% of whatever their death benefit is. So if they have a $10,000 policy, they could get $500 paid to them each month through this rider, just for being confined to that nursing home. And that just, what we call, accelerates the death benefit to them. 
in those monthly installments. So over the course of time, one of two things are going to happen. They'll either live long enough that they'll receive the full death benefit via those monthly installments, or they'll pass away sometime before everything has been paid out. And whenever that remaining balance is, that will be paid to their beneficiary as a lump sum. So it, it's nice to know you have these options to, to collect on these riders uh, without actually having to pass away. Now, to get to the real uh, sizzle of our process um, is, is our point of sale decision process that we allow us to your choice. Uh, our website there is www.insuranceapplication.com. That's where you go to write all your applications with us. Going to take a quick look at a couple of examples. These are given to you as soon as you finish the application within seconds. These responses are provided to you on the screen. I will take a look at a couple of them. Uh, certainly, we would all love to see this one. This is where the client is getting, uh, they're applying for our day one or immediate coverage, and that's exactly what they're getting. So that is a firm approval there for the immediate death benefit plan. But unfortunately, uh, that doesn't happen all the time. There are some other outcomes that uh, that you might run into. And uh, the good news is, is that we, we do take some extra steps to provide you information that we feel will be very helpful to you uh, and potentially making maybe even other product decisions uh, for your client. So in this case, they were applying for the day one coverage, but we come back and say that this client is only eligible for the return premium plan, or at least that appears that, you know, to be the case right now. So we give you that information and then we go uh, the next level and advise you what the issue was. So in this case, it was a medication settlement board. And for those of you who may be familiar with that, it's commonly used for asthma, and it's also commonly used for COPD. So to come up with a return of premium outcome, we, we're assuming here that the medication is being taken for COPD. So at least you know now you know what, what the issue is. Well, maybe you spoke with that client specifically. You know they're taking some report, and you know they're taking it for their asthma. What can you do about that? There's the option there to add notes. Would you like to provide additional information? You click yes, and then provide a short description. The client is taking Simbacor, but not taking it for CLBD. They're taking it for occasional asthma flare-ups. And you might say, okay, Darren, what, what does that accomplish? Well, number one, it requires us to further review that application. Uh, we have to take another look at it with a human, uh, you know, an underwriter. A, a real human being is going to look at this case now. And look at the information you provided and then make a, a second decision so uh, it is reviewed number one and secondly there's a very good success rate when you make these challenges or request these reviews it's it's upwards of 65 70 percent of the time when you give us a very solid explanation like that we'll often go with the original plan applied for versus what the you know the outcome that showed here on the screen so whether you want to take advantage of that opportunity or not, it's it's there for you to make sure that you're doing your best to fight to get the best plan for your client. And again, it's 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 very highly successful. But you can have that information handy for you. And maybe it came back as a decline. Maybe it's a medication like Aricep. Well, now you know that's probably a guaranteed issue client based upon the medication that they're taking. Bottom line, we give you information that we feel can be very helpful to you. So again, you know, you write the application, you get the on screen decision, you know, what's next for you? Well, you know our outcome. If you got the outcome you're looking for, there's really nothing else to do other than wait to get paid on the case. If it's not for the plan applied for, as we looked at, we'll give you information as to why that was the case. And if you want to, uh, in effect, challenge or disagree with the decision, there's a real easy process for you to do that at point of sale as well. So again, we allow you to participate in the underwriting process if you feel like the initial outcome just doesn't make sense. Now, in addition to providing that point of sale decision, we also provide some tools to help you pre-qualify individuals, and they're available in the product agent guides. So, for example, we looked at this medication earlier, Simbacort, and if you know a client's taking it, 
but they're not sure why, you can just turn here and look and see, okay, it's for two common reasons. And you can ask them, are you taking it for asthma? Or are you taking it for COPD? And if you're taking it for one reason, it could be immediate. If you're taking it for another reason, it could be return of premium. So you can kind of know ahead of time, based upon what medications they're taking, what plan they should be eligible for. To go along with that, there's also a listing of medical conditions where you can also look by condition and see what the outcome would be. In this case, if they indicate that they have kidney failure, you would know that they should be a return of premium client. All right. So that's the product that we sell the most of, uh, final expense for clients age 59. We have a companion product for individuals under the age of 50. So we, we basically give a solution for all clients from eight to zero to 85. Under age 50, we call the product family choice. A lot of similarities to senior choice. Um, this does have two different death benefit plans that the client is eligible for. Again, based upon their health, there, there's the immediate. Uh, we do cap it out at 35K. And we said earlier what immediate means. Death at any time, full face amount payout. If they're not eligible for it, they could qualify for return of premium. And again, on that one, it's a three-year period. If they pass away, we give the beneficiary premiums back plus 10% interest. But this particular product, I always look at it as a great option for in situations where you where you have a spouse. Maybe one spouse is age 55 and you're selling them a senior choice or final expense, but the other spouse is 48. And a lot of companies don't go below age 50 for final expense. Ah, well, here's a great option to use family choice for that spouse that's under the age of 50. A couple different riders won't go into great detail. There is a children's rider that's very similar to the grandchild rider we talked about moments ago, except it covers their children versus their grandchildren. It includes the same free terminal illness you can find care riders that we discussed earlier. Uh, I do need to point out a couple things about uh, this product. It is a separate product. Uh, the application health questions are different as well. So uh, we, we ask about some things that don't typically get asked about on final expense. And I'm just mentioning it just so you're aware. So, you know, for example, something like criminal record. We don't ask about on senior choice, but it could be a knockout family choice. So just making you aware of that. And, and right now we do not offer that same point of sale decision available on the family choice plan. So a family choice sale, you just complete the application it gets transmitted to us. And then we'll, the human being, the underwriter will make a decision uh, once we receive that application. The product has its own unique medication list which is separate from the senior choice one as well as that separate medication list found in the product guide all right so that's a look into our final expense portfolio we do have a couple of other products i do just want to mention just kind of give you a sense of what else we have to offer uh when we say non-medical just to make sure we're all on the same page you know we're talking about products where there's no medical exams blood work that type of thing uh, quick turnaround on the applications. Um, we use a term that it's standard through for underwriting tables, which may not mean much to, to most of you, if, especially if you're not familiar with the, what four tables mean. But essentially, there's a threshold where we accept applications or we don't. We call it accept, reject underwriting, which means that there are no write-ups on these policies. So we're trying to give you quick decisions, whether that be an approval or a decline. We're trying to give you those decisions quickly rather than you know take extra time to develop a case and write up the premium. So that's part of our accept, reject, underwriting. We provide in the guide, probably no surprise to you since I mentioned it a couple different times, we do provide in the product guide a listing of medications and conditions that would knock them out for coverage. So you I highly encourage, especially on this product, to pre-qualify individuals. Take a look. There's no reason to fill out an application. As example, if someone's had a recent heart attack, they're not going to be eligible for this product. That's noted in the guide. No reason to even start that application with us. So again, simplified issue, quick turnaround time, 
Uh, main thing about this is convenience, convenience for the client, convenience for the agent. And, uh, it's going to be a little more expensive than the typical fully underwritten products. But again, for simplified issue, that's to be expected. The first one is a term product. And we're proud to say that it is an exclusive product to integrity marketing partners. Uh, we worked with integrity to develop this product and to release it. So, um, it's, it's a very strong product. We, we're having a lot of success with it, uh, but to give you some example or some sense of what it does, um, it has got four different, uh, level term periods that the client could be eligible for. And we'll talk about those more in a moment. Again, this, that, that through table four, it's either accepted or it's rejected. There's a conversion privilege. They can you get a, a whole life policy without any underwriting up to 875 if they choose for conversion. So this chart summarizes those four different uh, level premium plans. So let me make sure that it's that clear here. Number one, when I say level premium, that means the premiums are level for those durations noted there, as well as the coverage is level. So if you buy a quarter million dollar policy, it remains level for the entire time, as well as the premium does. You'll note there that the minimum age is 18. Uh, a 30 year term can be issued up to age 55. The 10 year term, the shortest one can be issued up to age 75. And I'll talk more about the uh, rider in a moment, but that, that's what the column on the far left is when it says ROP plan. Uh, not to be confused with return of premium on a final expense policy. This is final, this is a term, and this is actually you're paying money back to the insurer for keeping their policy. Uh, we do offer a return of premium option on both our 20 year and our 30 year option, which, which is pretty unique out there. The minimum that can be applied for is 25 K and it goes up to a maximum of half million. Now, there is a note there for all issue ages. Uh, so there, there's no uh, reduction in max death benefit as someone gets older. So in other words, you know, a 75 year old could apply for the full half million with us. Uh, we do offer a preferred category. I'll talk more about that uh, later on, as well as our standard non-tobacco and tobacco rates. This product also has a point of sale uh, decision associated with it. So again, this is the one you want to get most of the time or all the time, actually, uh, that they're eligible for the plan to apply for. Again, great news, just wait to get paid. But that may not always work out. Obviously, uh, in an accept reject case, there will be some where they're not eligible for coverage. So in this case, they're, they say they're not eligible, we give you the medication. Uh, that, that's the reason why. And even in the case of a decline, uh, if you feel like we've made a mistake, we allow you to provide those note, those notes, which requires us to review it further and give it, you know, additional consideration. So, uh, we still allow that even on a decline. And there's also, uh, we refer to home office. These are situations where we could make our decision at point of sale. We, we want to have our human being. And our underwriters uh, reviewed this case further. When we see that, we'll tell you the reason why. In this case, we found out buterol. So again, I want to make a note here that buterol was prescribed for moderate asthma and not for COPD. So that way, I can give this case a good chance of getting approved because asthma is a condition that is approved on the term. COPD is not. So again, that's why it's important for me to spell out those think distinctions to make sure our underwriters know that. And again, as I said a moment ago, we just give you this information so that you can know step the point of sale and maybe even make a, you know, a different decision for your client. I mean, maybe you apply for term and they're not eligible. Maybe that means they should be a final expense client and you can pivot right to that um, based upon the information that we provide you. I mentioned the return of premium earlier. Um, it's a rider that's getting uh, more, more and more rare uh, in the industry today, but um, it pays them back their premiums. Um, ours is a 75% payout. 
So I want to make sure to note that if it's not 100%, but it does pay out 75% of the premiums if they keep the policy for the end of the 20 or the 30 year period. I also want to mention that the way that we have the return of premium working is that it does begin to build cash value very early on uh, in the life of the policy. You know, uh, some companies there, you have to keep it really close to the end of the term period to be able to see any significant cash value buildup or any significant amount return. With us, as early as the second policy year, we start building cash value that can be collected. Um, so if they only can keep it 10 years out of 20, they're going to have a nice amount that can be paid back to them. And if you run a quote with us, uh, we provide a column that shows year over year what the dollar figure would be that would be returned to the client, you know, again, depending upon how long they keep it. A bunch of other riders in the interest of time, I'm not going to go into these, but suffice to say, we, we have a lot of riders that make it easy to customize a solution for any particular client. Those were optional and these are the uh, no cost riders that are included. We talked about terminal illness before we talked about buying care before uh, the term has a third no cost rider that is chronic illness, which allows them to collect up to 95% of their face amount or a maximum of 150 K. If they're certified as being chronically ill, one way to trigger that is if you cannot perform two out of five activities of daily, daily living as an example. So uh, we talked about the point of sale decision process, you know, the things that we're looking at when we run those decisions, you know, what do you tell us on the application? What does MIB say? What kind of medications are they taking? We do look at their driving record. Uh, so one of the things that sometimes agents aren't aware of is that um, if a person has had you know, recent DUIs, uh, though that, that kind of thing right there could, could knock them out uh, for coverage, but that's all noted again. And that in that product guide, uh, I will also make note that um, this product does occasionally require a telephone interview to be completed. I must stress that it's only if the applicant is age 65 or older. So a 64 year old gets a half million. There's no telephone interview, but if they're 65, there is a telephone interview. Uh, we'll notify you that during the on-screen you know, application process and allow you to complete those interviews at point of sale. But again, it's only for those individuals that are a little, a little older. Uh, I did make quick reference earlier that we do have a preferred category. Uh, just if you, if you think you have a client that may qualify, they're just really squeaky clean from a health perspective. The product guide has the specific criteria that they must meet. For example, instead of just normally a 12 month look back for tobacco use, we look at 36 months. Um, but anyway, all the criteria is spelled out in the guide, as well as those medication and impairment listings to help pre qualified individuals. So, again, in summary, just a, just a real strong product. Um, it's taken the best of our previous product, our term uh, product offerings and combined them kind of all into one uh, here for, for a real sound, strong solution, very good rates, very good compensation. If you write any kind of term, I, I would highly encourage you to take a look at this safe care. Last product I'll mention today is our Express You Well. Um, it's, 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 you know, what I would call them old school, uh, universal life. Uh, it, it's it's not um, you know indexed or anything of that nature. It's very, it's a very simple product, but it is non medical. So again, all that stuff we talked about as far as no exams and stuff, this you know, applies here as well. Um, just a quick summary: um, it is universal life, as I mentioned. They can go down to age 18 for tobacco or 15 for a non-tobacco user, up to age 75. Similar minimum and maximum, that's the term, 25 minimum, half million maximum. Again, that's all ages. Uh, if you if you write UL, you know, you, you have to have flexible software to, to customize solutions for clients. We allow you to solve for all different kinds of scenarios uh, using our illustration software. 
again, a number of riders that are that are optional, and it does include the two uh, no cost and terminal illness. So anyway, yeah, terminal illness is the five cares. So those are the products that we have. Again, those last two, just trying to kind of wet your whistle to give you an idea of what we have. Um, for those of you who maybe, uh, we certainly do a whole bunch of business, I would say, quote, face-to-face, -face, you know, sitting down with the client. But if you do happen to make uh, remote sales or occasional remote sales, I just want to point out that we have three different signature options available to you. Uh, email for signature, a, a very short voice signature process, and a very simple uh, text for signature process. So all, all these options are available uh, to obtain signatures if you're not able to meet with the person in person. And uh, last comment here, uh, direct access to underwriters. I'm just trying to mention to you here that uh, you may have picked up a theme that we allow you guys to participate as much or as little as you'd like in the underwriting process. Uh, one thing in particular, especially for new agents, I feel is very valuable, is the ability to submit what we call a risk assessment. So maybe it's uh, some specific client uh, scenarios that you want to run by us. Or maybe just some very generic underwriting questions for, you know, how do you treat uh, insulin-dependent diabetics for final expense, as an example. You could submit those to us in one of two ways. There is a dedicated email address uh, there on the screen, riskassess at aatx.com. Or on our agent portal, which is found on americanamicable.com. Um, once you log in there, there is a, a live chat feature which allows you to communicate directly with our staff via, via chat. Um, it's not, it has a lot of other uses, but certainly one specific uh, option for you there is to be able to submit these risk assessments as well. So uh, again, it just helps you, you know, make informed underwriting decisions with us. All right, and just, uh, just to mention, we do like to have a little fun uh, at American Animal um, for 2025. Um, our convention uh, destination is Edinburgh, uh, Scotland. Uh, we're going there at the tail end of June, early July of 2025. Um, really excited about this trip. Um, the producer qualifications you see here are, are 95,000 uh, of issued and paid annualized premium. So I know we're, we're already in April, but there's still time uh, to get qualified. So if this is a trip that interests you, how to encourage you to, to either to pick up, you know, start writing an application with us here and there. If you're not contracted, go ahead and get contracted because there's still time to qualify. We base it upon January 1 through December 31 as far as our qualification period. So very excited about that. All right. So that kind of brings me to the end here. Uh, again, uh, I'll take questions, but I just want to say again, thank you for the time. I uh, appreciate the opportunity as always to speak to you guys. And uh, with that being said, I'll turn things back over to Brent. Awesome. <clears throat> so we definitely appreciate it, Darren. Um, are you are you going on that trip yourself? That trip yourself. <laughs> uh, let's just say it's a fringe benefit. Yes. <laughs> hey, I, hey, that's awesome. That's awesome. You deserve it. Um, so um, I didn't have any questions in the chat. Um, I think that there were some issues with sound. Um, I kept kind of jumping back and forth to see if I could help it out a little bit. Um, but unfortunately, a lot of people said we were echoing. Um, so I muted myself. Um, so I hope that does help. Uh, we won't know until we, of course, review the video. Um, but all the information, great information. I just recently got a case out of North Carolina um, for a gentleman that was looking for 250000 40 year old female. With no medical exam or light medical exam. Yeah. So definitely a product I'm going to be using for that for sending the information over to him. Um, so definitely appreciate that part of it. Um, but other than that, man, other than everything that, was covered great. Everything was covered great. I didn't have any questions myself. I have any questions myself. All right. Well, excellent. Well, again, thank you so much for the invite. And uh, if there's questions that come to you afterwards, don't hesitate to reach out. Awesome. So, uh, guys, we, we appreciate you attending. Uh, Darren, thank you for presenting for us. Um, and, of course, if you want to talk about, of course, getting appointed with these guys, or if you are currently appointed, I talked to a little, some of you guys yesterday about it. Um, 
Of course, number is 800-777-9322. Um, give me a shout. And uh, Daniel, if uh, you need anything from us, give us a call. But, all right. Till next time. Yes, sir. Thank you. Y'all have a good day.